Are you looking for a generator to power your outdoor living activities? Camping, cottage living, RV trips, tailgate grilling parties, public gatherings involving video or sound systems beyond the reach of the grid? These activities and more are all made better with electric power. The thing is, buying a generator to support an outdoor lifestyle is quite a bit different than buying one primarily as a backup for household power or for off-grid construction. Generators for outdoor living can be used for any application that needs electric power, of course, but outdoor living demands five particular qualities that you don't find in all generator models. And this would be quiet operation, purity of power, a range of different power outputs, ease of portability, and reliability. All of these are key. So ignore these points as you set out to buy, and you could end up with a generator that's far less than ideal for your outdoor living situation. But on the other hand, choose well, and you'll enjoy better outdoor living, as well as backup power for indoors when you need it. So I'm going to start with a really important issue, and that's noise. Parameter number one, noise output. Sound intensity of all kinds is measured in decibels, and that's abbreviated DBA. And the loudness of generators varies a lot. A quiet running model is a big advantage as you're sitting around a campfire or enjoying life in an RV park. But how can you tell how loud a particular model is when you're buying it? It's not like you can start the thing in the store or anything. Most generators create noise in the 55 to 75 decibel range. And this might not sound like a widespread, but it is a huge difference in practice. So as you shop, look for decibel ratings on shipping cartons or online. And if you can't find a decibel number, don't buy that generator. What's the point of having a generator if it bothers everyone because it's too loud? Here are the guidelines I use for assessing generator sound output. Category 1 generators have a sound output between 53 and about 55 decibels at full throttle. This is as quiet as generators get, and it's suitable for camping and RV parks, no problem. Category 2 generators put out 56 to 60 decibels, approximately, and they're still quiet and suitable for most camping and RV parks. They're certainly louder than Group 1, but quiet enough for most outdoor living situations. Category 3 generators emit 61 to 70 decibels, and that's loud enough to disturb outdoor activities if the generator's nearby, and it really is too loud for most camping situations. Category 4 generators put out 71 decibels and more, and that's pretty loud. Suitable for construction sites and certain kinds of renovations and emergency backup power, this kind of generator is not advisable for outdoor living, especially in a trailer park. As important as noise is, there's more to choosing a generator for outdoor living than just quiet operation. You also need to look at the quality of electricity that each model puts out too. And that's what I mean when I talk about purity of power. Parameter number two, power purity. Although it's a popular idea these days that generators are capable of powering sensitive electronics without issue, this is not entirely true in my experience. If I connect a modern but ordinary generator to electronics, such as an uninterruptible computer power supply or a portable amplifier or sound system, the items hum and act strangely, and that's a sign of less than pure power. And this is one reason they invented something called inverter generators. If you plan to power sensitive electronics as part of your outdoor living plans, and many people do, the only way you can be absolutely sure things will work properly is if you use an inverter generator. So let me show you exactly what I mean. The oscilloscope you see here is connected to grid power, and you can see a nice, smooth sine wave pattern. This is what's called pure power, with the smooth rising and falling of voltage. This is what alternating current, commonly known as AC power, is all about. But now, take a look at the screen again. This is the output of an ordinary non-inverter generator. Can you see the difference in wave patterns? The deviation you see from the pure sine wave pattern is what can and does cause trouble with sensitive electronics, especially equipment involving audio. Now, look here at the waveform created by an inverter generator. It's just as pure as grid power and even better sometimes and smoother depending on your electrical utility. For many applications, an ordinary non-inverter generator works just fine. But I have yet to see any non-inverter generator that can power sensitive electronics 
properly all the time, especially those items involving sound systems. And as important as this is, there's something else you need to understand about inverters too. Besides delivering clean power, inverters offer two more advantages that spring from one single design detail. Unlike conventional generators, inverter generators have the ability to vary engine speed depending on electrical demand. So let's say you only need 1000 watts of power from a 3500 watt inverter. The engine will automatically throttle down roughly two thirds from full blast. Same goes when you need say 2000 watts of power, except that in this case the engine will run about one third slower than full speed. Slower engine speed means less fuel burned, less wear and tear, and less noise created. Remember those nice quiet 53 decibel category 1 generators I told you about earlier? That's a full speed noise rating. Actual noise rating will be even lower when less than full power is being demanded from an inverter. Clean and quiet power are essential for any generator you'll be sitting near outdoors, but weight and portability are important factors too, as you'll see coming right up. Parameter number three, portability. Generators for outdoor living are designed to be moved around more than generators are intended for household power backup only, so lightweight is a real virtue. This is why accurately sizing a generator for your outdoor living is so important. You don't want to lug around any more weight than needed. All else being equal, the smaller the wattage output, the lighter the generator is. In addition to this, some generators are specially designed to be lighter than average for their power output, so pay attention to weight figures as you shop. So how many watts do you need? Begin by adding up all the wattage figures of all the items you intend to use at the same time. But this isn't as simple as it seems. The power draw of different items is not always as straightforward as simply adding up watts. And it all comes down to something called an inductive load. Any electrical load that involves an electric motor, for instance, will draw 200 to 500 percent more power for a few seconds during startup compared with running at a steady state. And any generator you choose must be able to provide this peak power output even for a short time. If it can't, the integral breaker on the generator will trip and you won't get any power at all until that breaker is reset. That air conditioner on your RV, for instance, it has a motor and so do most fridges and freezers. Water pumps are all motorized too, of course. Items like these all create inductive loads, drawing a spike of power every time they start. So how do you accurately add up total wattage? Most electrical items have a nameplate that shows how much power they consume, but this does not include startup surges. You'll get more accurate numbers more easily with an online generator selection tool. One of the best I've seen is at championpowerequipment.com slash generator hyphen selector. This tool automatically displays the running wattage requirements of various items, as well as the startup draw when this is applicable. The best generators for outdoor living also have another feature that's particularly useful. You can connect two generators together in parallel with a special connection kit, combining the total power of both. This is an advantage on three counts. First, it's a lot easier to lift, carry, and stow two 3000 watt generators in and out of your truck or RV than it is a 6000 watt model. Second, if you've already got one generator, but realize you need more power, adding a second unit is as easy as connecting with a cable, provided the generators are of the type that can be coupled together. The third advantage of dual generators is reliability. If one unit goes down, at least you still have the power of the other one while you get the broken one fixed. All this brings us to the next parameter for choosing an outdoor living generator, and that's power variety. Parameter four, power variety. If you're using a generator only for household power backup during emergencies, all you need is 120 volts AC and possibly 240 volts AC as well. Now, you'll certainly be able to use 120 volt AC power for outdoor living, but the ideal outdoor living generator will also give you other types of electrical power. Want to charge your phone, for instance? Generators are best suited for outdoor living when they include a place to plug in a USB charging cable. Also providing 12 volt DC power for plug-in accessories and for charging automotive style batteries. 
Now, the farther from the grid power you are, the more you'll rely on your portable generator, and that's why a track record of reliability is also key when choosing a model for outdoor living, and that's what I want to talk about now. Parameter five, reliability. All generators need to be reliable, of course, but when you're on a road trip or camping deep down on a backwoods logging trail somewhere, reliability becomes vital. I've owned, used, and tested many brands of generators over the last 30 years, and as I've said in other videos, Champion offers the best value for the money that I've seen so far. Their prices and reviews tell the whole story. Champion also has a unique remote repair policy. Factory trained technicians are standing by 24-7 to troubleshoot problems with you by phone. Have your generator fixed at a service center if you want, or do it yourself with parts shipped directly to you, and along with one-on-one -on -one guidance from a tech support person as you make the fix. Do your homework, consider noise, power purity, weight, power variety, and reliability records, and you'll end up with a great generator that'll improve all your outdoor living activities, plus give you basic backup power at home when you need it.